We're here with Rob Joseph of Interior Design Concepts, and we're talking about remodeling, and he's been doing it for over 20 years internationally, not just here, but all the way down in Australia. And when you do a remodel, one of the things you have to be really careful of is it's typically a, a situation where it's a husband and a wife, and there tends to be a lot of fighting in it. And so the question is, Rob, how do you get a remodel without getting a divorce? Well, mate, first thing that I would do is I'd get a marriage counselor. Right? Yeah, about right. Because yeah, there, right, there yeah. are probably more divorces. Other than money, this is probably the number one thing, right? Never lost a, never lost a couple. Really? Never lost a couple. Finished a lot of homes, but never lost a couple. So when you meet with them in the beginning, do you actually sit down and say, here is kind of some examples of what you should do and not do? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I go through that whole process with them, and we talk about identifying do you qualify them first though? do you qualify them say hey how's your relationship do you guys actually like each other I, I sit down and we talk about one of you doesn't get to do everything and make all the decisions this is kind of a group a partnership and so in a partnership you've got to kind of divvy it up and make decisions on well you know one gets to do more structural and the other gets to do like color and interior design and it's like okay when you get into an agreement on that uh, then it's a little bit easy to referee. You're still going to have those fights, but it's easier to referee because you can go in and say, oh, hang on a second. So you basically divide it up. Yeah, you in the very beginning, you say, right you're going to be in charge of this, you're going to be yeah. in charge of this, and then are you the marriage counselor? Yeah, kind of a marriage counselor, yeah. And, so when and some of them take me out to dinner, too. Hopefully it's not the women. No, no, it's both, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. <laughs> So what's the next step after you d divide up and decide what they're doing? Well, you gotta, you got to decide like on a remodel whether the remodel is for flipping. Uh -huh. You want to make, make a profit on a quick turnover. So it's money-based? Yeah, it's money. Uh -huh. uh, and the second one is living in it. And well, you know, if you're living in the home... So it's more com comfort-based. Yeah, then. you want to have it be exactly what you want. So you want to feel comfortable. It's not just you know, the husband or the wife or the boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever's in that relationship. It's not catering to one, it's, it's creating an environment that's comfortable for both. Yeah. Everybody that's in the house and so... And that's why they're remodeling in the first place, yeah, right? Yeah, that's exactly why. Sometimes so, yeah. you lose track of which direction you're going. Yeah. And so I guess, so what you're saying is if you're, if you're building there, or you're remodeling to live there, then you want to do it based around, you know, your creature comforts. But now what if you want to do it for a flip? Who decides? Ah, uh, for a flip, that's all about money. That's the buck. Okay, that's so a, if you want to do it for a flip, what would you suggest they do? You got to decide where your range is, uh, how much money you think you want to get out of the house, and then you sort of work backwards and, and work out a budget. And then once you've got that budget down, and it could be it could be 10000 could be 20000 could be 30000 depending on where the market is, uh, and then you sit down and you decide where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. A lot of times people will just go in, and in their mind, they're thinking, well, if I was living in this house, this is what I would do. Mm -hmm. And that's a big mistake, because it goes back, no, no, no. I'm selling this house, I need to make a profit, but I want to make this house sellable. And so in order to make this house sellable, where do I need to go? Where does that money need to go so I get the best return on my investment? And usually in homes in the mid-range, in this market here in the valley, Bathrooms and kitchens, those are the those cells. Are the places. Those are the places. So you want to okay. look at bathrooms and kitchens. Ba oh, and yeah, that's a great place. Good for you. Bathrooms, kitchens, uh, if you want to do a, a remodel for a flip. Okay, well, thanks for having uh, being on the show here, Rob. I appreciate you coming by.